स्वागतम सर्वे बिहा श्रीमान वेंकट नाथार्य कविता के श्री वेदांताचार्य वर्यो मे सन्निधत्ता सदा हृदय सत श्रीरंग पृथ्वी चरण त्राण शेखरा जयंती भवन त्राण पद पंकज रेण वह लेट मी आलो से बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट भरत इन दि समर्पण पद्धति द फोर्थ चैप्टर ऑफ श्री पादुका शास्त्र ऑफ श्री वेदांत देशिका भरताय परम नमोस्तु तस्म प्रथमोदाकय भक्ति यदुपेषत पृथिव्या पृथ्वी तो राघव पादुका प्रभाव गोइंग थ्रू दि समर्पण पद्धति फ्रॉम दिस वीक ऑनवर्ड्स so here uh, i was telling you about uh, the last session in the of the ninth verse it starts with manye i think so i told you the prose order also if somebody wants it again um, i will also t- tell you uh, the end of explaining the meaning of this particular verse called in ninth verse now you find here um, manye i think तो भवती नियुज्य तो अपॉइंटिंग यू तो हु अपॉइंटेड यू ओ मणिपाद रक्षे ओ डिवाइन सैंडल्स इट इज राम तो हाउ डू यू आइडेंटिफाई रंगनाथ श्री रंगनाथ ऑफ श्री रंगम एज राम बिकॉज यू एज डिवाइन सैंडल्स वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई द पेरिय पेरमॉड श्री रंगनाथ of shirangam who is reclining on the adishesha the serpent so he is krishna how do you identify him as krishna there are two symbols one the belly has a scar where the dama the rope was tied by ashoda and you will find it in the divine figure in this culture uh, culture uh, what you call skill and peri permal came here on rohini nakshatram day rohini being the birth star of lord krishna he is lord krishna there are two identifications and here so bhavatim niyujya again the respect should you instead of twam so when you take liberty with the god and his paraphernalia like the weapons the decorations the gra garlands the jewels and uh, things like that like uh, even um, sandals divine sandals uh, we use the word twam tat shabda you can so yushmat shabda we, we use and whereas uh, when you want to give respect more then you say bhavati so in english you want to identify whether the let no word you why were you is given with respect or is said with respect or disrespect also so bhavati niyujya so appointing you he manipad rakshe o divine sandals ramaha uh, what did he do why why did he appoint you so bharatasya nivaranartham so look at the beauty here i told you you have to go into the secondary meaning tertiary meaning we call it dhvani in sanskrit suggestion in english so you have irachi porul as we say in tamil so inner meaning so bharata should return to the kingdom ayo uh, in capital ayodhya so that uh, the whole kingdom doesn't suffer without a king please read the chapter from shrimad ramayana that what will happen if uh, a king is absent in a country so you will find a lot of disadvantages of the absence of king a king now what did bharata I mean bharata should return uh, to the uh, capital city ayodhya in order to rule the kingdom as uh, wished by her his mother kaikeyi as a second born start from dasharatha emperor dasharatha 
And what did the Bharata mean again? The another meaning of the Nivaranatham. Nivaranatham is preventing Bharata from going along with Rama. Number one. So number two. I mean, I think I I remember. I mean, uh, imagined uh, imagined it as Nivaranatham. Okay, no problem. So Nivaranatham is preventing Bharata from accompanying Rama to the forest. Means he is going to the Uh, capital city back and second one is bhavati uh, nivaranartham uh, the divine sandals are prevented from going along with rama of course the new set please remember again every time a new set of divine sandals now for example practically speaking all of us have at least two sets of uh, chappals i will say uh sometimes we we reserve one thing one set uh, uh, so that if one gets spoiled or torn we use the other and sometimes we use uh, for rain some uh, one set and for hot sun one set sometimes we have shoes for office and we have ordinary uh, sandals for uh, other purposes so you have so this kind of uh, arrangement here uh, again don't blame bharata for, uh, as we think that he has snatched away the divine sandals from rama and made him walk barefooted now so second uh, meaning of nivaranartham is preventing the divine sandals from uh, accompanying rama for 14 years and then uh, the paduka is very important manipata raksha is very important to rule the kingdom and that is that was a better rule than even rama so we saw that uh, the value of the honor of the divine sandals is greater than rama's uh, honor rather greatness we saw that earlier uh, the uh, the reason uh, also will be set uh, in future in the near future So here, what did the Bharata do? Parshni Grahasya. He took the um, bottom portion of the uh, divine feet of Rama. Parshni Kudigal, Parshni na Kudigal. So the uh, bottom portion of the uh, soul, uh, Parshni Grahasya. So because he caught all the uh, uh, Lord Rama's uh, Uh, divine feet. Uh, he Rama could not escape except giving the divine sandals to him. So the third also, uh, you can also say that Rama has to return. Uh, it is an indirect compulsion that uh, when the uh, shoes, you can also say uh, Manipada Raksha has shoes. You will find it in the uh, what you call Chitra Badhati. How Uh, Vedanta Deshika knew even in his days that uh, a lace must be used to tie the shoes tight. Uh, you know the lace. Uh, we have very beautiful verse in Chitra Badhati, thirtieth uh, chapter, where the lace is mentioned. Uh, there are holes in the on both sides of the shoe uh, uh, to tie up the lace. Now it's uh, very beautiful. Uh, we can also say Manipada Raksha is a set of shoes. So here, Parshni Kaya se Bharata se Nivarana Tam. While Rama, uh, of course, um, gave the sand, divine sandals to Bharata, but uh, he did not brook separation. He did not tolerate separation from the divine sandals, and therefore, what did he do? He took only fourteen years. Fourteen years is nothing for. Uh, Either Brahma, you know, the four-faced creator, and also a god like uh, Shiva Narayan. So you know, the Deva Varsha is different from Manusya Varsha, Manava Varsha, the year. Uh, you know, the comparison theory of relativity, uh, time relation between the gods and the human beings. So fourteen years is nothing, and therefore uh, Rama wanted to come back and join Bharata number one. Rama wanted to come back and join the divine sandals. Wear the divine sandals again. 
So what did he do? So since he sent Hanuman earlier as an envoy, as an ambassador, as a duta, as a messenger, before his arrival at Sri Lanka, he did it also. Now, you know, Hanuman uh, dons DOMS, dons the Acharya role, the role of the preceptor. The Acharya is necessary for a Jivatma, an individual soul like uh, Sita, the goddess Sita, to join with the Paramatma, the supreme soul, namely Ram. Therefore, Acharya is very important in Shiva Vaishnava Sampradaya. We cannot uh, have uh, a moksha without the help of a uh, preceptor. And therefore, uh, the preceptor shows the way. Hanuman showed the way. Hanuman Abdi Matarati. He crossed the ocean. How did he cross the ocean? Goshpati Kata Varashim Mashaki Kata Rakshasam Ramayana Mahamala Ratnam Vande Anilat Majam. You know the verse, very popular verse. In the beginning of the uh, Ramayana Parayanam. So this is what we call Purvanga Shloka, which we say about Rama, Sita, Hanuman and so on. So you have um, at the end also, after the end of uh, the Parayanam, recited regular reading of the uh, Ramayanam, we have Mangalam Stotram on Rama. So why I say, say this is Goshpadi Kitavarasi. Now why Goshpadi why, why do you say that it is very easy? As a human being, say, uh, with uh, four feet uh, height or six feet or seven feet or eight feet high, height, we think that Goshpadi is very simple to cross because we have seen cows in a particular size only, maximum size. And they, when they place their hooves, H-O-O-F-S, on the wet ground, they make a puddle. Puddle. Puddle is called Goshpadi. The step of the hoof of the cow, generally cow, because we have to follow the cow and not the bull. Uh, the, the cows uh, uh, walking um, before us, in front of us, and uh, uh, producing the what you call the dust. And, and the dust falling on us is what you call a very pure bath. Uh, Godhuli Snanam. It's called Godhuli Snanam. So if you read Ayurvedic uh, uh, science in Sanskrit, you will find eight types of bath. And one of the best types of bath is Godhuli Snanam. You go behind a cow, it uh, raises the dust by, this, by the, uh, its hooves and we are besmeared with the dust. And dust will make us pure. How can dust make us pure? This is a very paradox because it is uh, Go Go Mata, we say, the mother cow. He is a representative of all the gods present. All gods are present in the cow's body. So we worship the cow and so on. So Bharatasya Nivaranatham, what did, what did Rama do? Sapadi. So he followed Anuman immediately. Sapadi, suddenly. Even Ravana was caught unawares. He never thought uh, man will cross the uh, ocean. He thought monkey will not cross, cross the ocean. Because he avoided these two names only while he asked boon from Brahma. Except Vanara and Nara. Narova, Vanarahava. Either it is monkey or man. I am not worried. I am not bothered. Uh, that's why, of course, Rama, I mean, Lord Shimanarayana, Lord Vishnu took the incarnation as an ordinary human being and he was helped by monkeys, Vanara, uh, as the incarnation or, or the birth of gods, all gods here in, during Ramayana. So you find Sapadi immediately. What did he do? Ratnakaram. It's not an ordinary ocean. It is not a salty ocean that all of us see here now, now around us. So it was a treasure of gems. There are so many other gems, but uh, what we like most is pearl and uh, coral. These two gems are available. Coral is pravalam in Sanskrit, pavaram in Tamil. So we say pravalam becomes pavaram in Tamil. And muttu 
as she say in Tamil, is from Telugu word Mukta. Muttu is not a Tamil word. It's from Telugu. And uh, these two gems are available. Pearl, Mukta is available in the uh, ocean because of the shell, sea shells. So you say pearl, pearl shell is there, special. And you know the drop of rain gets into a shell and becomes a pearl. That you know. It becomes ripe as a pearl. As ripe as a pearl. And therefore Ratnakaram. Ratnakaram is treasure of treasure house of gems. And so many other gems are there in the sense uh, useful things are available. Uh, it uh, gives helps us uh, to journey from one country to another country, one uh, place to another place and so on. So Ratnakaram. You can have a big list of uh, the gems there. And uh, if you consider it as Milky Ocean, you know, Kaustaba gem came out. Uh, the Srivatsa gem came out of the ocean, in the Milky Ocean. So Sapadi immediately, Goshpadayam, he made the ocean as a puddle, as easy to uh, cross a puddle. Now, what is significant about the puddle? You would have heard about, uh, or if it is first time, please understand that there were, or there are sages called, a group of sages called Valakilya. Valakilya. So to give you a comparison, they were like es Eskimos. You have heard about Eskimos. We know foreign history better than our own Indian history, unfortunately. The textbooks prescribed in schools and colleges do not tell us about, tell ourselves about more. And therefore, we, are, we know who, who are the Eskimos. As short as Eskimos, Valakilya were of the size of ant. So whatever big ant that you have seen, if at all, so in Bengaluru or uh, Srirangam, in India or abroad, uh, they were in the size of ants, A-N-T-S, Pipilika visa in Sanskrit. Uh, Valakilya Maharishis, they are they are great sages because they are when they when they are called sages, we know that they have done a lot of penance, they have a lot of merits by doing penance. And therefore, these Valakilya Maharishi, all these sages of there are seven sages in there. The seven sages of uh, Valak called Valakilya uh, found it difficult even to cross a puddle, as you, you understand. An ant doesn't cross the puddle, it goes around the water. It takes longer time to go to, go to the other side of the puddle. Uh, it takes a lot of time. So, Valakilya also found such a um, long time to cross a puddle. And therefore, for some people, some, some tasks are easy. For, uh, for some other people, some other tasks are, the same tasks are very difficult. So this is a this is a small comparison. So Goshpadayam. So he made it. Now in Sanskrit there is a beauty. A verb can be converted into a noun, and a noun can be converted into a verb very easily than English or even Tamil. So here um, you understand that English and Sanskrit are called in one group called Indo-Germanic languages. And unfortunately, Tamil has uh, uh, not got all the letters, alphabets of Sanskrit. And whereas Malayalam, Kannadam, Kannada and Telugu, all the South Indian languages have got uh, equal number of uh, syllables or letters in the alphabet, Varnamala. Now, Yuvain, so what did he do by crossing the uh, ocean like a puddle? So, Chanena, within a movement, so he crossed the ocean in no time. And what did he do further? Vijigye, he won over, he defeated. He had an astounding victory. He had a conspicuous uh, success over whom? Rajani Chara Rajadhani. When you say the capital city, that means then the king is also included. So Rajani Chara, Rajani knight, Rajani Chara, one who wanders at night, meaning demon. So Rajani Chara Rajadhani, Sri Lanka was the capital of uh, Rajadhani. Though now we call it Sri Lanka as a nation. You have uh, the word of um, the country as the capital city. 
So Rajani is a Rajadhani. Even Lanka is called by the nation itself as Sri Lanka, meaning there is a lot of wealth there. Ravana had a treasure of gold there, a lot of gold. Even today, if you want to buy gold from Sri Lanka, whose price is less than what it is available in India, our Bharata Desha, still you go there and buy um, jewels, gold, pure gold with uh, some less price. Uh, Ravana collected all wealth from all gods. So Rajanechara Rajadhani, Chanena, so within moment, within moment. So we don't know how many days uh, Rama fought with Ravana. But uh, I mean, according to Mahabharata, at least you know the definite number of days, 18. So we do not know here how many days did uh, uh, Rama take to fight with all the ministers and uh, allies of Ravana. Uh, now here you find that Kanen. So this is as good as Sahasavrtihi Asit we just saw in the Samarpana Paddhati that the two divine sandals are adventurous. So also Rama is known as Mahavira according to a dramatist called Bhavabhuti. He wrote a drama called Mahavira Charita. And therefore, Khanen, within a moment, within a second, Rajani uh, Chara Rajadhani Vijiki. He won over the capital of the demon. So what demon we have, uh, just now we have been knowing um, from Ramayana is a ten headed demon. The, uh, the demon who has uh, um, ten times weight of one head. So we say head weight, we say in Tamil also. So Thalai uh, Ghanam. So he, he was proud of himself and so on. He was born to be proud. Uh, you also remember the philosophical background, namely, he was called Ravana and Kumbhakarna were called Jaya, Jaya and Vijaya. Earlier they were watchmen, the doorkeepers for the Vaikuntham in, in, for, for Sriman Narayana. Therefore, they were cursed by four sages and they came to have three types of, um, three times the birth. The so first uh, time Hiranyaksha, Hiranyakashipu. Then Ravana and Kumbhakarna, and thirdly, Dantavatra and Shishupal. So here you find that uh, he, uh, Rama won by appointing, by appointing um, the Manipada Raksha, the divine sandals, as the uh, king of the Kosala, Uttara Kosala country. Then why again, why appointed, uh, he, why did uh, Rama appoint um, the divine sandals? The reason is, why did, why did he not uh, uh, take Bharata also along with him? When the boon asked by KK was only for Rama to go to the forest for 14 years, why did he take Sita and um, Lakshmana? Bharata also expressed his earnest desire to accompany Rama from Chitrakuta onwards for 14 years. He rejected. Why? These are the two reasons, namely. So he believed Bharata, number one. He had confidence in Bharata. He had confidence in the divine sandals. He wanted to prove, I mean, rather um, truthful, to be truthful for Kaikeyi's second boon. Bharata should be made king. My son. My son should be made the king. This was the second boon. Therefore, in order to come uh, fulfill the wishes of the stepmother, I would say Chitti. Uh, whereas he, she brought up Rama. She brought Rama up. Kausalya brought Bharata up. No, I, I told you earlier, the affection was an exchange. And uh, in those days, people will, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, smile if one, um, if the mother, uh, what he calls, uh, uh, shows affection, affection towards her own child. And the affection of a mother should spread over all children, the neighbor's children. So it should not be shared only by one child. 
and therefore the child is pampered and it is selfish today. So here, um, this is the meaning. Of course, Manni, which gives us that uh, Vedanta Deshika imagined that um, Rama appointed uh, the sandal, divine sandals, to rule the kingdom, plus uh, to be, prevent Bharata from accompanying Rama and so on. And uh, he did it in no time. The victory, uh, he had the victory over uh, Ravana uh, and crossed the ocean before, I mean, after crossing the ocean, just like a padu. Now, uh, when you see the sentence, now, when, when we translate into English, we say, the ocean, he was like a puddle, was like a puddle. So that will be a simile. That will be Upama Alankara. Though it is not said very clearly here. And uh, Manye, when you say Manye, that means it is a, a fertile imagination of Sri Vedanta Deshika in, in order that um, um, Bharata was prevented from accompanying Rama. The divine sandals were prevented from accompanying Rama. And the main reason for such, a, uh, such an action, such a twin action, double action, is this. Namely, and please understand, generally a king, when he goes for a fight with the enemy, he appoints his, uh, uh, say, ministers, or what you call the chief of army staff, you will be surprised that uh, king will delegate the responsibility of the, uh, to the chief of army staff, Senapati, as we say in Sanskrit. Senapati, you can easily understand the words. So Senapati will be appointed as in charge of the kingdom. Or he uh, uses uh, some other, uh, say, minister, uh, uh, it happened in the Raghuvamsa it, itself, namely, Dasharatha was just 10 years young when his father, Aja, passed away accidentally. And therefore, at the age of 10, King Dasharatha became an emperor. Dasharatha became a king and then an emperor at the very young age. Just for a few minutes, uh, ministers were appointed in charge of the kingdom because it was a sudden death of Aja in a park where his wife Indumati uh, also was dead. I mean, after the death of Indumati, Aja followed her. Uh, and therefore, it, it was a bolt from the blue. It was, an, uh, it was a sudden accident. Uh, Jasaratha had to bear the brunt, that is, hold the responsibility, the difficult responsibility of uh, carrying out the administration of the whole king. So you find this uh, background of Ramayana is completely, um, you know, what you call, um, wound around these uh, verses of Sri Padukas. Uh, as you, uh, if you have read Ramayana, or if you read Ramayana, at least in future, you will find, again, come to Padagasas from verses, you will find these stories are already inside the verses. Meaning, you can understand that there are allusions to each verse, which we can understand. So we go to the next one. Uh, tenth verse. Now, he is calling, I think, um, Maheshwari uh, sister should also add Ascharya. Uh, Ankaha, namely exclamatory mark after Padavani. I forgot to tell her. So Padavani, hey Padavani, four oh, divine sandals. So already we, I told you the meaning, the sandals protect the uh, feet and therefore. Now what, are, what does, uh, or what do the sandals do? Now he says, Swami Vedanta Deshika says, now Tom Tom Chama Asi. So you are patient. You bear. You are able to tolerate. So tolerate what? Sodhum. Sodhum to bear. B A R. Well, if you say the divine sandals bear, 
that means the the pair of divine angles forgive forgive what forgive forgive us whom the, the did they forgive they forgive us even now we they forgive us what aparadha vargan we are all groups of people who are committing mistakes every moment every day every minute every month every year to aparadha vargan aparadha unfortunately is meant by in tamil as fine for the mistake that we committed uh, we are fined in sirangam and also in many other uh, what you call holy places um, unfortunately the indians are um, forced to pay fine because we are occupying the property of the lord everything is the property of the lord my body is the property of the lord my soul belongs to lord, the lord but uh, i think we are not paying rent to uh, the property uh, whereas we hold the body we hold the life uh, for by, by his blessings uh, this is practical um, administration very bad administration of the governments here and uh, we are paying fine every time every year we are paying fine that is not the meaning of the word aparadha aparadha means error mistake blunder and so on so what kind of mistake do we do prabhuta ram we are all great people in doing mistakes why vedanta rishika calls himself as aham asmi aparadha chakravarti in order to have equal status with the goddess of mercy of the god of shinu of the god shinuvas of tirupati he wrote about 106 verses uh, as title titled as daya shatakam sri daya shatakam he says uh, i am equal in status along with the god goddess of grace daya devi so he says i aham asmi aparadha chakravarti i am an emperor of mistakes emperor who can commit more mistakes than what have been said as the sufferings in hell in shrimad bhagavatam there are some mistakes um, listed in shrimad bhagavatam where uh, certain hells are allotted to such mistakes such sinners so if you commit a, a particular mistake one has to go to that kind of hell we have a very great, great great list big list and if you read shrimad bhagavatam you will uh, hate the chapter you will throw the book away and so can come out if you understand the mean so it's very uh, threatening threatening so prabhu taran prabhu we are all prabhu's lords in committing mistakes prabhu taran we are better um, in doing mistakes than others if i want to win over you i do more mistakes so prabhu taran aparadha var gan uh, the divine sandal say so take it as singular uh, tom so uh, he has uh, what you call titiksha the divine sandal has got titiksha meaning patience in tolerating the mistakes committed by all of us in the whole uh, universe especially what you call three worlds so jagatam trayanam we saw the two words in earlier in the same samarpana paddhati and therefore at least let, let us take three words the so people of the three worlds commit mistakes and all mistakes are born b o r n e so tolerated by uh, the divine sandals and therefore tom chama asi you can have another shade of meaning you are the goddess of earth you are the goddess of earth those who have learnt tirukkural of tiruvalluvar in tamil you will remember a verse called uh, kural called அகழ்வாரை தாங்கும் நிலம் போல தம்மை இகழ்வார் பொருத்தல் தலை தௌசண்ட் த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் தேர்ட்டி சாங்ஸ் திருவள்ளுவர் Uh, here, um, Orumayul, Amibol, um, 
ஐந்தடக்கல் ஆற்றில் எழுமையும் ஏமா புடைத்து இஸ் அ தமிழ் திருக்குறள் விச் ஐ ஸ்டடிட் இன் ஸ்கூல் அண்ட் ஃபார்ச்சுனேட்லி ஐ டி நாட் ஃபர்கெட் இட் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தி கிரேஸ் ஆஃப் தி ப்ரிசெப்டர்ஸ் டீச்சர்ஸ் தமிழ் டீச்சர் எஸ்பெஷலி you have you have an equivalent in bhagavad gita most of you may have uh, studied bhagavad gita and you can say at least i can give you a clue it is in the second chapter the exact equivalent orumayul aamai pol aindadakkal aatil elmayum mema podaithu now why i say this is it's all relevant to this context namely uh, the divine sandal is exactly equal to the goddess of earth what does the goddess of earth bear in with regard to us no as peasants p e a s a n t s farmers agriculturists what do we do even at our home garden we do what uh, the the action namely uh, uh, injuring the goddess of earth we use lot of uh, sharp instruments and in order to plant something Yeah, what you call a vegetable uh, creeper uh, and so on. So we have to dig the earth. So when we dig the earth, we use sharp instruments. And the goddess of earth bears all these injuries done by us. Especially a, a Greek, an agriculturist or a farmer or a peasant uses the paddy field and he plows the field. and in in many ways he disturbs the field rather the earth and therefore you find that all these are tolerated by goddess of earth goddess of earth is so patient that instead of uh, punishing us for the mistakes com- crimes committed against the goddess it is uh, she blesses us with uh, grains for food so again so now now uh, what kind of uh, goddess of earth or chama how is the divine sandal patient it is like murti mati chama eva again the word chama the first word means patient it is not a hospital so here it is hospitality so murti mati what you call personification embodiment so it is in the form of murti mati <coughs> the divine sandals are tangible they can be touched at least by the priest in a temple as you know so at least if it is in at home we can touch it uh, uh, um, by our hands so you find that murti mati with a figure with a solid figure chama eva like the goddess of earth it becomes chama eva sorry the spelling mistake has been um, noted by the um, computer scientist namely maheshwari so can chama chama eva chama eva not chama eva i think chama eva chama eva okay chama eva not chama eva chama eva i think last minute correction has been done uh, very nice so uh, yet which the reason by which twam vihaya leaving you behind is leaving you not rejecting here so leaving you twam you uh, you find that paripanthinaha nihataha te paripanthinaha nihataha this is in passive voice so uh, you say te min de te min de te means uh, you can tell me the meaning from tat shabda pullinga tat shabda trilinga and uh, Uh, Yushmat Shabda also. So I've got a lot of meanings. So Te means if you take uh, Sri Linga, it means two girls. So now two girls are there. Why? Two divine sandals are in feminine gender. Two girls are there. So Te means you are in singular, Ekavachalam. Tava Te in Shati Vibhakti, uh, what you call genitive case or possessive case. Shati Vibhakti. again tubhyante in chaturthi vibhakti of yushmat shabda you have the dative case rather nangam metrai so for you for you in singular then if you take uh, tat pullinga shabda sahatavte they will become all the all those three people and more pointing out the third person 
So he, they too, they, they all, so they mean they all. So such a I mean, uh, variety of meaning for they. So, so you, you can take any way that is your or for you. So paripanthinaha, paripanthinaha means shatrava, the enemies. Virodhinaha. Uh, they are on the opposite side. So what happened to them? So you can also say te, they, T-H-E-Y. They, those are those, you can say, those enemies were nihataha, kill. So killed by whom? Devena Dasharachina. Now understand, Dasharatha's son is not an ordinary human being. Though he acted as a human being, he took incarnation as a human being, but he was, he is an Almighty. He is the Almighty. So Devena Dasharachina. The author of Sri Padukha Sarsam, Swami Vedanta Deshika, uh, declares the secret, reveals the secret that Dasarathi was a god. So he is not an ordinary human being. Therefore, he could uh, fight and kill all people. He is not a cinema hero to fight with, uh, uh, fight with one enemy at one, at one time. If all enemies uh, uh, face him, then a cinema hero can win over all, all of them. Because he, was, he is a hero. Whereas uh, Dasarathi is a hero, real hero to kill all people, all enemies. So Paripanthina. He had a soft corner also, as I told you yesterday. He asked even Ravana to go back, prepare himself better and come back the next day. So who was the um, uh, important enemy in the, among the leaders of the force, F-O-E-S? Dasha Kanta Muksha. So ten neck. Why neck? Why, why don't say ten headed? Dasha? Shiro, shiro Mukyaha. Why, do, why don't you say Dasha Shiro Mukyaha? Uh, the Vrittam will change because of the light syllable and heavy syllable. Uh, you have to use the word Kanta here. Ten necked them demon Ravana. The, he, he was very important demon. And uh, they have to be annihilated. So those foes were annihilated, killed by uh, King Rama, not King Rama, God Rama, Almighty Rama, Almighty Dasharathi. Dasharathi is a peculiar word which means uh, the son of Dasharatha. Dasharathasya Apatyam Puman. This is a Vigraha Vakya, what we call it, uh, splitting into Sanskrit um, to understand the meaning. So Dasharathasya Apatyam, Apatyam means child. So Puman is male child. So Dasharathasya Apatyam Puman, Dasharathi. So Dasarathi will, Dasarathi Rama, Ram, uh, who was God, he killed all the demons, including the leader called, uh, called Ravana, the ten-headed. So now again, please understand the purpose of Rama leaving the divine sandal with Bharata and leaving Bharata in, to be in charge of the kingdom in his absence. And in order to fulfill the wish of Kaikeyi, his uh, uh, stepmother, and so on, he is elder. He simply say elder. Guru Akya Paripalanam. Rama obeyed the elders. Not only the father. Guru means father. Guru means teacher. Guru means a heavy personality is called Guru. It can be used in Napamsakalinga also. Uh, uh, hefty individual can be called Guru. So, Guru Sharira, the body is fat. So, here, so Guru, Guru Vakya Paripalna. So, he carried out the orders of the father, carried out the orders of the mother, carried out the orders of the elders like Vishwamitra, the teacher, Guru, and so on. You know already the word meaning Guru. Gu is darkness of ignorance. Ru means to prevent. So, already as an individual soul, you please remember that we are all knowledgeable. We are all wise. We, are, we have spiritual wisdom. But uh, that spiritual wisdom has been hidden from our mind because of an illusion called Maya. And that Maya screen is uh, removed by 
the guru and therefore we say the teacher prevents the darkness of ignorance that means he makes, makes us makes our intelligence shine so with this uh, uh, i would go, go to the next one uh, so in order to have a, a, a total meaning of this uh, verse number 10 so uh, vedan deshika addresses the sandals oh sandals who protect the feet of the lord rama um, you are the uh, you are the you, sorry you are patient just like the goddess of earth in the um, what you call embodiment form personification uh, in order to tolerate the mistakes blunders committed uh, in uh, in what you call in a serious man prabhuta ram more serious man uh, and therefore um, in order that the people of the kingdom especially kosala and also the entire universe namely all or especially the three worlds so in order to prevent them from committing mistakes it is not only to uh, uh, what you call excuse pardon forgive the mistakes committed by us the divine sandals are useful to make us not to do mistakes so that means prevention is better than cure and therefore divine sandals also when we worship uh in the temple uh, we can we can be sure that we don't we won't do mistakes so here so at least we will do minimum mistakes let us not be me very ideal let us be practical so uh, having left you uh, uh almighty rama till all those demons led by the 10 neck 10 throated round so we go to the next one fast for 11 so vakye gariya sipitur vihite pyatruptya matur mano ratama shesha mama jayishyam manye tada raghupatir bharatasya te matas tvaye vamani mauli nivesha lakshmi i have also the intention to continue the next session when there is a open end question therefore people like you in number 57 should continue to come and join the class so that you will not miss anything halfway through so here vakye gariyasi again sati saptami expression you know pituhu vihite api atruptya you know kaike asked for two bones Kalidasa called them two snakes coming out of the ant hill. The ant hill is the mouth of Kaikei. He said two snakes came out of the mouth of Kaikei. The mouth was mouth of Kaikei was an ant hill. Pambu Putu. Valmikam is in Sanskrit. Valmikam. So from Valmikam, two snakes came out. That means that is what to call. So the uh, getting Rama to the forest for 14 years and making Bharata the king. So uh, Pituhu of the father, of the father, Shati Bhakti. Uh, somebody, when I taught in a, some other session, uh, some people, some people mistake uh, word. Uh, instead of Shati, they you know, mistake it as Panchami Bhakti. Why? The reason is obvious, namely, the form is same in Panchami and Shakti. Pituhu, Pituhu. Pituhu, Pitrabhyam, Pitrabhyam, Pituhu, pitu, Pitroho, Pitrinam. So when you have two same terms, terms, same spellings in a particular uh, Shabda, many people uh, are likely to mistake and understand it as different Vibhakti. So Panchami Vibhakti, as all of you know, will have uh, English words added from or than. Uh, and then Shakti Bhakti will have apostrophe S yes or uh, off, OF. So, of the father, Pituhu. So, uh, Vakke statement. 
statement in the sense prom is here. Unfortunately, Dasaratha did not orally say anything of the Kaikeyi's books, of Kaikeyi's books. Uh, he did not talk to Rama to say, go to the forest for 14 days. He, he did not say, Bharata should be anointed as a king. Uh, but it is Vihite. It has been fixed. Vihite means it has been decided. So, Pituhu Vakke, Vakke, you can even say there are two sentences, two boons. Vakyam, Vakke, Vakyani. Look at the grammar. I think I have not said the prose order. I am very, very fast in saying prose order. So, Pituhu Gariyasi Vakke Vihite Api. He Mataha, look at the last line. He Mataha. Uh, Raghupati he, please uh, see the words then and there. Uh, again, we, I start. Uh, Pituhu Gariyasi Vakke Vihite Api. He Mataha. Raghupati he, Tada Atriptya Matuhu Manoratham Ashesham. Or you can put it this way Ashesham Manoratham Avandhyayishyan. Aham manye tasya tene, sorry, baratasya tene, baratasya mani mauli nimesha lakshmim tene. Why? How? Toya ye. No, I have been jumbling words, so it is very easy to understand, therefore, we can even jumble words. So again, I, I can repeat Mataha, O oh Mother, who, who is addressed as Mother here, the Divine Sound. Look at the beauty. There are two words which you tell, uh, which you refer to mother. So one mother is uh, divine sandals. The other mother is uh, kaikeyi. What a great difference between these two mothers. One mother is very cruel to Rama. She looked cruel. She was in a disguise of cruel character. Don't blame kaikeyi as Bharata did in Ramayana. He said 144 sins which he would uh, have committed had he told the mother Kaikeyi that he wants the kingdom. He is after the kingdom. 144. So he has, uh, the word one, the number 144 is significant today. Both in Bengaluru and Srinagar. You know, the police order. So not to have any gathering. So Mataha, hey, ma oh mother, um, Matu, we can even say uh, immediately say Manye, Manye, I think Matu, Manoratham, Ashesham, Avandhishan, Atruptya, uh, Pitu, Gariya, Sivakya, Vihite, Api, uh, Avandhishan, Nagupati, Tada, Bharatasya, Manisha, Mauli, Nivesha, Lakshmi, Tene, Toya, Eva. Why Toya, Eva, the last, the in Sanskrit grammar. I find a formula called the aphorism, called the sutram in Sanskrit, meaning uttarottaram baliyasi. Uttarottaram baliyasi. Anything that we say later is more important than what we said formerly. Uttarottaram baliyasi. So, toya eva is more important than any other word here because it refers to the divine sound. Uh, let me uh, say very fast the meaning. So, Mataha, O Mother, how can you call Divine Sandals as Mother? Because it belongs to feminine gender in Sanskrit. Number one reason is number one. And since the Divine Sandals are soft, you know, we all wear soft chapels. And now, so Manni, again, it's an imagination. It's an exaggeration of the author, namely Vedanta Deshika. So I think, Manni, I think, Aham is understood here. So Tada at that time, what at that time? When Bharata came and requested Sri Rama to give away the sandals. So Tada, Raghupati he, Raghupati he, the lord of Raghus, namely King Rama. So what did he do? Uh, he arranged, Tene, he arranged Bharatasya, for Bharata, to Bharata, Mani Mauli Nivesha Lakshmi. 
Now, here is an answer to the question posed by a lady participant in the previous sessions. Uh, I will I invite her attention to this. I will not say who and I will not say the question also. So here, uh, in the guise of making this divine sandal the, the crown of Bharata on his head. So what is uh, what is fulfilled? You, you must answer the question. So what is, it is the answer here in the second uh, pada, second quarter. So Matuhu. So as Rama considered Kaikeyi as his own mother, he was so, or even he was more affectionate uh, towards Kaikeyi than to Kausalya, his own, own mother. So Matuhu Manoratham, the desire. What was that desire? Ashesham, completely. Avandhayishyan, without making it farce, F-A-R-C, or failure. So without making the boon of Kaike fail, so he did two things. He went to the forest for 14 years and he made Bharata the king. How did he make Bharata king? Because he placed the divine sandal. Of course, he gave the divine sandal. Bharata, out of humility, placed the divine sandal on his own head and therefore he became a crowned king. Why? Mani Mauli, Mani, Jam, Mauli, the headdress, Head ornament, Nivesha, placing Lakshmi. Who is that Lakshmi? Goddess of uh, fortune, goddess of wealth. It is goddess of kingdom. Please remember, a king is the husband of the country. The country is Bharata Mata, we say. Bharata Mata. So Pita is the Raja. Raja is Pita and Mata is Bharata. And therefore, you find that Lakshmi the goddess of fortune, goddess of wealth, namely Kosala Raja Dhani, you can say, Uttara Kosala kingdom. And generally, kingdom in Sanskrit is always in, uh, uh, said in plural because it is a vast kingdom. In order to say the big expanse of the kingdom, we say it in plural. So, the, the Bharata, so Bharata was made the king by, play, by his own placing the crown, namely divine sandals on his head. So it became, since, since uh, we saw that uh, the divine sandals were called Manipada Rakshay, Manipada Rakshay, you find the Mani Mauli here, the divine sandals decorating the head of the uh, younger, younger brother, uh, rather Bharata, so that he looked like a king of the land. So I think I have told you, the, uh, the reason why, why Rama did it, Atriptya, this is an interesting reason. So, you know, by his own action, Rama fulfilled the first boon. Rama had to go to the forest for 14 years. But Atriptya, uh, because Bharata refused to take up the kingdom, uh, because of his dissatisfaction, Atriptya, because he must prove that his father is truthful. Satya Sandha. I already told you the answer. The question is from the participant. So Atriptya, by his dissatisfaction uh, over the, uh, the what you call success of the two boons uh, said by um, father. It was not said by father actually. It was said by Kaikeyi. And uh, uh, Rama said, uh, Oh mother, I don't suspect you that these are, these are not the words of the Sarata, my father. These are, when you say I accept, this is not Guru Vakya Paripal, implicit obedience to elder. This is what should have happened in our home, in every home. Please remember, Ramayana is not for reading a story. Paduka Sastram is not for developing bhakti alone. It is for our practical usage of morals. So please remember this and we will, I will tell you the last verse. Jayati Etiraja Shukti, Jayati Mukundasya Paduka Yugali, Tadubaya Dhanas Trivedim, Avandhyanto Jayanti Bhuvisantaha. So I hope we all follow, we all follow all the ideals of Ramayana, understanding the philosoph philosophical background and uh, without questioning, 
I told, I told you without questioning the elders' words. Don't question the elders. But let the elders find some scientific evidence for their words. What you call the present scientific evidence. There is scientific background. For all the activities in our Sanatana Dharma, unfortunately, uh, wrongly called Hindu Dharma. Uh, we, because in the application you say you are a Hindu, not a newspaper. So yeah, we understand the ideals of our Sanatana Dharma are always highly scientific. The modern, according to the modern science. So thank you all, all very much. And Lakshmi Narayanan, I think I must uh, admit his question. Uh, the organizer can. Uh, 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 unfortunately, uh, uh, the question of Praveena is uh, answered in negative. Is there a book which we can refer for word to word meaning? Anvaya and Vyakshana of Paduka Sahasram and other Totras of Swami Deshika. Word by word meaning in Tamil is available. Word by word meaning in Tamil is available uh, for even Paduka Sahasram. For all the 29 stotras of Swami Deshika, I have written one, I have written one word by word meaning in Tamil and Sanskrit, you know, English. That is called King Grihesha Stuti. I must spread the uh, uh, popularity of this stotram to all of you. It is called King Grihesha Stuti. I will give you details by mail to the organizer of Yoma Lab. And I have put it in YouTube. You can make a note in this, don't the spelling in English, E V V U L, capital, Evul, Kedandan, K I, capital D A N T H A M. Evul Kedandan. If you type Evul Kedandan, you can practice the King Rigesha Stuti of Sri Vedanta Deshika, which is the 29th devotional song, 29th Stotra, which it is new, it is, no, it is not known to all. It is fresh and you can make it popular and also you can take by heart. You can get by heart. You can memorize them. Only just 19 shlokas, 19 verses. So you have, so Anvaya is not available. Vyakhyana is available. Anvaya is available, not available. Vyakhyana in Tamil and English are also available. Vyakhyana in English and Tamil are available. It's not available, I think, in other languages. I don't know. If it is in, in Kannada, you will be most, uh, it will be most advantageous to you, but it is not available. Uh, please tell the meaning in Tamil when you explain the meaning of the verse when you summarize. Uh, the next session, I will uh, summarize all the uh, 11 verses which I have dealt with in this week. Uh, sorry for Priyadarshini to disappoint today, but uh, I will remember like an elephant uh, to tell you the meaning. Uh, in Tamil, uh, when I summarize, I think I I don't I don't plan uh, the uh, schedule properly, and therefore uh, I have to sometimes stop in the uh, the half the verse at half the verse. Therefore, uh, bear please bear with me as the divine sanders bear with us. Kavitar ki kesam haaye kalyaane gunasaline. Timate Venkate Shaya Vedanta Grave Namaha. Uh, okay. We call it Hanuman Jivatma because he refused moksha. Okay. So not that because he refused moksha. Uh, you, you can be called in according to Advaitin Jivan Mukta. Uh, and uh, he is called a, a celestial or rather immortal. Ashatthama Balir Vyasaha Hanumancha Vibhishana Kripa Parasharama Hapteite Chiranjeevinaha. They are called Chiranjeevis, long living people. Ashatthama Mahabalihi, Ashatthama Balihi Vyasaha Hanumancha Vibhishana Kripaha, Kripa is Kripacharya Parasharama. There is no wonder about three, two names, Vyasa and Parasharama. But Ashwatthama, the son of Drona and so on. So they are seven Chiranjeevis and Anuman is a Chiranjeevi. Not that he refused Moksha, 
he is also in vaikuntha along with rama he can come over he can get out and can get in <laughs> without any difficulty he has a permanent double citizenship dual citizenship therefore no don't call it as he refused the motion nowhere it is said in shastra he refused the motion uh, please do not make uh, what you call sweeping statement without studying deep if somebody said it quote his name i will blast him so many people are misled by um, some people so thank you for uh, attending uh, listen, uh, carefully at least 46 people remain okay what is tene in okay tene and uh, it's a uh, it's a singular form uh, meaning arranged made did so uh, tan is to increase the dhatu is tan and it is in uh, what we call perfect past tense form call lit tene tenate tenire if you have known lit pa, uh, lakara perfect past tense you can understand is very easy tene tenate tenire tene is singular form in prathama purusha third person uh yes anantarangachar has written meaning in uh in uh kannada very good for father consciousness i am not familiar very good nice but do you have word by word meaning anvaya and you have get given vyakhyana vyakhyana is different from meaning uh, further explanation other more than meaning is called vyakhyana and if it is an anvaya may not be found the prose order plus uh, word by word meaning might not uh, might not be there i mean i am only making a pure guess and then uh, you are right uh, my uh, the anantarangacha swami he is known to me also uh, i have seen him and uh, he, his uh, scholarship is colossal uh, can you repeat the chiranjeevi name please right subha narasamman uh, ashwatthama balihi vyasa hanumancha vibhishana kripaha parashuramascha saptaite chiranjeevinaha padukas asram tamil word by word book name kripa vadatu huh? kripa oh kripaya vadatu so that i can buy uh, the dt tata cha swami has published long ago it is out of print word by word meaning but we have got polipure in tamil that is what we call summary uh, summary of each verse by andavan ashrama uh the guidance is necessary for them that's why i took up the topic uh, through yamala otherwise uh, if it is available in the market all of you will be going to the market not going to yamala for uh, yamala offers very rare and um, uh, valuable books in sanskrit i appreciate uh, so kriyapadam what is oh, kriyapadam is tene tene is kriyapadam astu anything else uh, please clarify okay i clarified i hope the butter is clarified butter battaha in sanskrit means call butter we say in tamil the archaka in temple is called bhatta okay so thank you very much dhanyavadaha